Hey, good morning. This is James with Crappie Fishing Mississippi News Network. And had someone uh, on the group ask how to uh, rig for snagging. Now, I understand there's a lot of people that don't think snagging is a legitimate way of catching crappie, but uh, there's a certain time of year when uh, catching crappie in the spillway uh, is effective. And the way to catch them is by snagging. And what I do is I use two one eighth ounce uh, jigs. The cheapest ones I can find, I usually buy them like on eBay in the hundred pack or something and get them as cheap as possible because you're gonna go through a lot of these jigs. But I'm gonna show you how to rig for catching these crappie. If I can just get this line, there we go. All right, let's try it again. This might be a comedy show instead of an instructional video. All right. So you wanna bring it up and make a loop and then bring your hook through it and then just cinch that down all the way. You want to get your line tight to the jig, okay? So it's tight like that. And then go around and just make one more knot to keep it from sliding uh, down the line. There we go, we got that one now. And now the that's one of them. So your next one, you're gonna want it on a loop knot uh, about six to eight inches down the uh, the line. So I'm just going to bring it up and eyeball it. And then I'm just going to do a loop knot where I create a loop and see if I can get this line. This is some cheap Walmart special line. Uh, I actually recommend using the high vis Wally Marshall uh, stuff that you can get from uh, Bass Pro or online. And go through that loop twice and then just kind of make a small loop knot, bring it down and pinch that off and then take your tag in and I don't have any scissors. snip off that tag in. All right, so now we got our two hooks. And as you can see here, I'm gonna show you that they are about eight inches apart, okay? That's about perfect, six to eight inches. All right. So what I'm gonna do now, and all this stuff is really fast. You got your jig, uh, and the hook is straight in line with the eyelet. Take that jig and hold the head and bend that hook off to the side so that it's not in line with the eyelet anymore. And that'll improve your hookup rate. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Let's get straight. Just gonna hold it tight and bend it right to the side, just like that. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. And when you go to the spillway, you'll see everybody else doing this type of fishing. And you're just gonna let out about 10 foot of line. I use a 10 foot rod and just whip it out there and count to about three, depending on how deep the water is, two, three seconds. And the fish are all swimming throughout the water column. And then just snatch it right up really quick. And uh, hopefully you can catch some fish uh, snagging. It's a lot of fun. You can catch some big fish. Uh, it's turning on right now all over Mississippi, uh, especially Enid and Grenada. So, but just want to make this quick little video. I hope it helps somebody out. It's not difficult. Uh, the hardest thing is probably balancing on the rocks and keeping from falling when you're going down the rocks. Uh, if y'all have any other questions and stuff and want to know how to do anything, uh, let me know. Hopefully uh, this video is helpful.
Once again, this is James Short with Crappie Fishing Mississippi News Network. And good, happy fishing to everybody. And happy new year.